In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create fire motion graphics like the one you're seeing on the screen right now. And no, we are not playing around. I'm going to show you exactly how I do that step by step in DaVinci Resolve. And it's actually so easy to do. You guys are going to be mind blown by how easy it is to do. And if you guys are new here, my name is Ryan and I help other editors get saucy in DaVinci Resolve. I sell some of the most premium editing packs, which you can find in the first link in the description. Without further ado, guys, let's show you guys how to make some of the most crispiest motion graphics in DaVinci Resolve. Cool, guys. So this is my timeline right here, and this is what we were able to create in DaVinci Resolve right here. As you can tell, it's very simple. It's nothing crazy, but what you could do is you could take this and run with it and multiply it and do different color schemes and all sorts of different things, okay? So, so if we come to a completely blank space, I'm gonna show you guys how you can completely recreate this in DaVinci Resolve. So all we have to do is come over here to generators and grab this paper background right here. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna zoom in and you're gonna notice all this grain. So we're gonna pull up the grain, to probably about like 1.5 right? And then keep the texture seed the same. This is going to make it to where it's not too dark, not too white, etc. So we're basically just getting the background done and out of the way. That way we can focus on the text and all the graphics. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the scan lines in the actual um, effect. So I actually saw this effect up and up on the screen right now. This is the effect I saw on IG and then this is just me recreating it essentially. So as you can see in the screenshot is there's some like scan lines. So we're just gonna basically show you guys how you can get that in your background. So no, you do not need ChatGPT. All you need to do is go to effects and then we're just gonna grab what's called an adjustment clip. Now, this is pretty simple. An adjustment clip is just only gonna affect what the what is actually in the adjustment clip. So we're gonna cut into the fusion page and it's as simple as holding shift space and then searching for the scan lines node. Um, now you're gonna notice it's already creating a cool effect as you can see like right here. Um, but we're just gonna turn this line frequency up just a tad and probably put it at about, I wanna say 12 maybe, maybe maybe 12, maybe 13. And if we come here, now you could see we have the textured scan lines. And the reason why I like this is because if we turn this off, it's just regular. If we turn this on, it's scan lines. It gives it like a CRT effect almost which is something I really like. And if you guys want to as well, you can change the color. So you can come here to color too, turn this up and then maybe make it like a small, like little, little light blue effect, just like that. That'll make it more noticeable, like right there. Okay, cool. So you guys are probably like, Ryan, how did you get that brain animation? Guys, you don't have to worry about finding that footage because I actually put it in the link in the description that you can use co for completely free. So just go down there and download it. It's somewhere down there. So once you have it in, it should look something like this. So this is when, what's gonna happen when you import it. It's just gonna be a 3D scan of a brain just, you know, rotating. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I was able to take this and turn it in to this, which is pretty cool. So um, we're gonna size it down to our liking, probably about like right there, I wanna say. Okay, and we're gonna find a perfect spot that we're gonna start the animation at. So I wanna start it at like right when this brain's like in the middle. So we're gonna hit slash and we're gonna delete it just right there. Now you're gonna notice it has this black right here. So the only way to get rid of that is to come to the composite mode and go to exclusion, just like that. And then now you know that it's all gone, just like that. And on top of that is now you have the brain ready to go. So like it's masked out for you and it has that cool effect. And it looks good on white. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Command R on our keyboard, and this is gonna bring up what's called the retime curve controls. So we're gonna come here right about where we want it to end, and we're gonna put it like right there. So that's where we want it to end, okay? We're just gonna hit a marker because that's where we want it to end essentially. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come here and add a speed point on that marker so that way we know wh what where we want it to stop. So we're gonna kind of play around with this and see how we want this to do. So we kind of want it to go like and then slow down like right here. Okay, so we're gonna add another speed point there and then we're going to take this one right here and we're just gonna size it up to where it goes by really fast. So now if we play this through, boom, and then it goes really slow. So what we actually need to do is drop down this drop down arrow and do this one at about 75%, boom. And then we're gonna pause it right here. So we, we can go ahead and now open up this keyframe right here. So you click this keyframe and then we're gonna scroll up and then we're gonna come up here and hit this keyframe. And this is gonna show us what our keyframe is actually doing here. So we're gonna take this one right here and we're gonna go ahead and smooth this sucker out just like that by hitting this little smooth button up here. Okay, we're gonna smooth this out to our liking. So now if we play this through, it's nice and smooth. Boom, nice and smooth. So play that through. 
and then we're going to pause it. I mean, we can, we can even make that a little more smooth. So if we play this back, just like that. Cool, so now we can close this and close our keyframe tab. We can go ahead and literally just exit out of this by hitting this X right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this and we're just gonna slash it right there because we don't want it there anymore. So we want this to pause right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this and we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to change clip speed. And we're gonna go to a freeze frame, okay? We're gonna replace everything, all that jazz. This is gonna leave one clip just like so. This is gonna make it to where you can now hold on this clip for the rest of the time now. So now we're just gonna size that up, boom. So now if we play this through, and then it's just gonna pause. And if we want to, we can come here as well and also we can turn down the keyframes for the second point. So if we come here and then we smooth this one out too, to where it's nice and smooth and you don't even really notice it to be honest. So then it kinda like smooths out to the close, just like that. So now we can close both. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna right click and create this as a new compound clip. Now we wanna resize this because our brain, we want it to end up right in the middle. So we're gonna resize this to where it's like right about there. So now if we play this through, we have our brain that does exactly what, it, what we want it to do. Just like that. Cool, it looks really cool too. Now what we're gonna do to add some extra sauce is come into the Fusion page, add a transform node. Now we're not gonna do anything, we're just gonna use the realistic motion blur setting that they have. Now we have to get going on the text effect, which is gonna be very simple to do. So go to your titles and go to text plus and drag down on a text plus. Now this is pretty simple. You're gonna need the following text fonts. You're gonna need Apple Garmin and you're gonna need Helvetica Noon. And you can find all of these in my insane editing packs, which is the all-in-one bundle or Motion Text Pro, which I'm gonna show you guys how you can do this animation in seconds with Motion Text Pro. But I'm also gonna show you guys how you can do it yourself because we don't gatekeep on this channel. That's exactly why you need to subscribe to the channel. So the first thing we're gonna do is in this screenshot, I noticed it had like kind of like a brown look to it. So we're gonna search for Helvetica Noon, just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and do bold and we're gonna size this up right about there. And then it says that's, so we're gonna type out that's. And then we're gonna basically come down here and grab that bold, that dark, dark looking brown, just like so. Now, if we pull this up here, it looks really good upon that white, just like so. So we're gonna pull this and bring it like right here and we're gonna size it down just a little bit. We're gonna pull it up just a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into the Fusion page with this text title. We're gonna hit Shift Space for another transform node and we're gonna go ahead and scroll down on this transform node to about 0.4. We're gonna go approximately less than 20 frames available and we're gonna go to 0.5. Um, go to the motion blur. We're gonna select the motion blur again. In the spline tool, there's this little zoom to fit button. You're gonna hit Command A, which highlights both the points. You're gonna right click on your mouse. You're gonna go to ease and you're gonna go to out cubic. This is gonna create that, that crispy animation. Now, all we gotta do is swipe up just like so and bring this in eight frames. So that way it's just like that. And then we really wanna zoom in here and pull this down. And we're gonna go a couple frames after that and do the, so that's the, we're gonna pull this over right about there. And then we're gonna go that's, well honestly even come a little closer. So that's the, and we don't even have to capitalize the second that's the, cause it doesn't look necessarily look that good. Anyways, so we're now we're gonna hold option and we're gonna scroll up again, which is just duplicating the clip basically. Now we're gonna type out psychology. Now that we have psychology typed out, we're gonna go ahead and apply that Apple Garmin look that we were that I was just showing you guys. Um, and we're gonna go to probably bold italic. I really like bold italic. I think it looks really good. We're gonna size this one up. We're gonna go to layout and we're obviously gonna reposition this into where it's like in the middle. So like maybe like right there. And we're gonna have to do some resizing obviously. Like that's just, that's just how it goes. So we're gonna resize this one to where it's like right there. And we're gonna resize this one to where it's like right there. So that's the psychology, boom. That's the psychology. Then we're gonna go ahead and scroll up again. Then we're gonna type out most and we're gonna go back to the font Helvetica Noon. And for this one, sometimes you guys can also do just regular Helvetica and then do bold. I think that also looks good. So we'll do most, we'll bring this down and I'm thinking we do like that right there. So we size this down just like so. So it's like right there. And then we're going to do most just like right there. Okay, and then we'll swipe up and then we'll do people. And then we'll obviously turn this one to the boldest that we can find it and we'll size up people. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to put the most within the people. So we'll actually probably bring people like right here so that it's in the middle. And then we're going to bring most to where it's like right here. So most, then we're going to swipe up and then we're going to do miss. And then for this one, we'll do Helvetica noon and we'll do uh, probably just light. And then we'll size this sucker down. Then we're going to put this one right there. Now guys, obviously if you don't want to do all those animations, you can grab Motion Text Pro, which is going to be in your bins right here, which you can download in the first link in the description. And we can grab Blur Up Slide and it's just done for us. So that, that way, all I got to do is that. So I change this to the brown color that I want and the animation is just already done for me. So like if I were to deactivate all of these, you saw I literally all I did was drag and drop that down. So all I got to do is just size this to my liking and then apply it exactly where I want. So this is just gonna save you so much time. Also, it's more crispy because I put more time into the animation and I did it to where you could be like, that's the, so you don't even have to waste your time. It'll, it'll animate both of them up for you just like that. So that's the, just like that. That's the, and then you can go ahead and swipe up and type out psychology. All you gotta do is change the Apple Garmin. And also the best part about the pack is it comes with all the crispy fonts that I use too, which is, easily the best part like in my opinion so you know it's coming with all of these fonts and you know that that's it i mean it, it's that 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 simple not to mention if you come to timeline and text design i have made literally like i think it's like 15 plus hand animations that you guys can just directly copy onto your page so like all of these all of these fonts right here and all these text titles you could directly copy and paste. So let's say I really like this one. I copy it. I go to my timeline one. All I got to do is command V and we're good to go. So I bring this paper transition and then look, I have the font already done and I could just change the title to, let's say I want it to be psychology. Boom. Obviously for the money, like for this text, you got to like change the color, but that's the text effect that you guys can get. There's there is over 75 animations in Motion Text Pro and then also my all-in-one bundle. Don't even get me started with my all-in-one bundle. It doesn't even matter. But anyways, guys, now that you see like how easy it is to do with my editing pack, go ahead and just cop it. It's going to save you so much time. But anyways, I showed you guys how you could do that. Now I'm going to show you guys how you could do the zoom out animation. We're going to go to an adjustment clip. We're going to grab this adjustment clip. We're going to put it on top of our clip just like so. We're going to head into the Fusion page and we're going to drag in another transform node. Um, we're going to go in and zoom in to about 1.5, go out about 20 frames and go back to one, go ahead and just apply your realistic motion blur, zoom to fit, same stuff, command a right click ease. And then you could do in cubic or you could do uh, out cubic or you could do in out. It really doesn't matter. Boom. Play that through. And now you have the zoom out and it zooms out everything for you. So that's how you do the crispy motion graphics. Now, if you want, you can completely take the scan lines and put it above everything um, and then just turn the opacity down. And what it's going to do is it's going to apply scan lines to everything. So it's going to even apply scan lines to these right here. And I know we changed the color to blue, but honestly, blue isn't really doing the job. So we're going to come back in here and we're going to change the color to white. That way it gives a more realistic scan lines. So um, just like that, now we can just turn the opacity down and whatnot. Or if you like it all the way bright up like that, you know, whatever floats your boat. But um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much how you can create viral motion graphics in DaVinci Resolve. And if you guys are new, consider dropping a subscribe because I create banger content like this for you guys all the time. Like I post content like three times a week for you guys. Also follow my IG and my ex. And guys, please go check out Motion Text Pro and the all-in-one bundle with the first link in the description as it does support me give you guys these YouTube videos. But uh, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.